Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the first episode of Lounging with Lashes. Joining me on the beanbags today are none other than the virus Marty Banks and Big Joe Wheels. Boys, before we get started, I'll just explain what these little art trestles are for while we chat away and have general yarns. Um, Joey, I'll get you to paint a portrait of Martin and uh, Marty, vice versa. Boys, um, just in the lead up to this interview, I was having a wee look at your uh, player profiles last night um, on the Highlanders website and Marty, one thing that stood out to me was um, your favourite player growing up and you said it was Christian Cullen and please tell me that's not because you think you're a similar footballer to him. No mate, I have no uh, common attributes to Christian Cullen but growing up, um, you know, he's a I wouldn't say white battler, but he is, he is similar to my... my yeah, you're a white battler, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm a battler, but Cully, you know, wasn't the biggest player, but um, he obviously used to dominate in the game, and um, which is awesome to watch. Oh, right, so, and Joe, on your player profile, um, I read that the best advice your mother ever gave you was table manners. Always use your table manners. So I'm going to test you, see if you've been listening to Mrs Wheeler's advice. So I've got with me the UK Dining Association's rules and regulations for informal and formal dinners. Joe, question. How do you signal to a waiter that you're finished with your meal? Uh, knife and fork together in the middle of the, in the, middle of the plate, mate. Very good, very good. <laughs> when arriving at your seat, a napkin's on the table. What's the correct thing to do with that napkin? Uh, it's to pick it up, uh, unfold it, then just place it on your lap. He's not bad, Joe Wheels, he's not bad. And last question. How should you place your utensils at a formal dinner? Uh, oh, you obviously you work from the outside in, so you always put your, so say you're having an entree, you use your outside fork, then your outside knife, that's how you work. I thought question three would get him there, but he absolutely nailed it. He wouldn't know, uh, being a reefed boy, about table manners. Or informal or, uh, or formal dining, but obviously we do a bit of that in, in Marlborough. Winery based. Winery based, upper class. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Now, Banksy, you've been copping a fair bit of stick um, in recent times over your Facebook exploits and your performance on there. I know Wheels, you sort of try to come and play with the big boys and interview Wheels and give him a bit of stick, but that sort of turned out uh, quite badly for you, didn't it? No, nah, mate, achieve what I wanted to achieve. Um, Work in progress, mate. Time will come. Every dog has its day, and that's what I'm waiting for. It was how you planned it. There, there's no way that went how it was planned. Did you, did you plan to get stitched up on TV? Is that what you're telling us? Um, no. What I'm saying is, every dog has it. Every dog has its day, and my day is still to come. Oh, just I'll keep you posted, mate. I might keep you. You'll keep me posted. Well, I'll tell you who you've been keeping posted is the numerous, numerous females you've been adding on Facebook. Um, what's doing there? No comment. <laughs> Why is there no comment? It's attracted that much heat. Surely it's good for the profile? No, nah, the boys are just trying to live vicariously, vicariously through me, mate. Um, but there's nothing really to talk about, mate. They're just friends. Okay, and you just made a wee uh, slight comment there about, about wheels punching. You live, with, you live with Joe for quite a while. You've seen how he operates. Did you pick up any tips from him? Oh, he's, a, he's a greaser, mate. He's a greaser. Always buying roses and stuff for his missus. Like. Well, take notes, Marty. No, well, take notes. Courts definitely wears the pants. Um, yeah, yeah, Courtney wears the pants. Banksy, I might just um, take your cap off. And can you talk us through that lid? How does a man do the work that you do with a lid like that? By keeping the head on, mate. By keeping the head on. Nah, mate, it's just, I, I don't know. Some girls like the girls. That is true. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> what was it? My name is Marty. I live in the second bedroom. I live down the hall from you. And then it sort of gets into the, uh, into the chorus and it's like, girls, they love the curls. Girls, real they love the curls. And he was singing it in the shower, mate. Called him out. Righto, Wheels, you just put in the finishing touches on the portrait of... Big Marty Banks, do you mind showing the camera, giving us the big reveal and talking us through it? Yeah, well obviously um, it's pretty easy to draw Screech. Um, we've just gone with the stick man, uh, sort of sums up his body shape really, just a twig and um, 
And then another feature of his, obviously, <laughs> is the schnoz. I've just tried to replicate my big toe um, in drawing his, his, his nose. And then obviously the um, what the girls love, the curls. <laughs> Fair enough. And Banksy, yourself, talk us through uh, your portrait of Big Joe. Sweet, mate. So uh, the robot. I'll start here. Obviously, it's got a massive head. The similarities, massive head. And uh, the shape I've gone for actually is not really a shape. It's just a square because Joey's got no shape to his body at all. If you can see the arms there, just straight and, you know, pretty square. Um, the colours I've gone for, he's obviously a Highlanders man and he's a Tassie man, so he's got blue and red. And we're looking up here. When you look at him now, he's uh, fairly white, so that's why I've gone with the head being yellow because there's no, I can't make it white. Um, so he thinks he's mouldy, so he's got the 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 the, the mouldy uh, the mouldy tattoos on there, the mockers, and I've made his arms brown because he's obviously 50/50 um, in his head. But um, yeah, oh, it needs to be discovered, mate. I'd like to see the proof. And um, yeah, so that's Joey. Very good. Oh, that's some outstanding artwork. Well, boys, thank you very much for your time here lounging with Lashes. I've enjoyed it. I hope you have too. But this Saturday, we play the lines um, across the road there at the big house. Wheels, if you've got a message for people that are sitting at home watching this, thinking about watching the game in front of the TV, tell them why they should get down to the FBS Stadium. It's pretty obvious, mate. You know, last week was um, was a special night. Uh, 18,000 people screaming. It's just a fantastic atmosphere. Um, I know the marketing team put on one of the best shows at half time and I understand they could be potentially replicating what we did with the electric fence maze uh, this week at half time. So that in itself is worth the price of admission just to see that at half time, mate. Someone getting electrocuted, it's always good viewing. But um, you yeah, know, it's just a, uh, a great atmosphere and even for the kids, it's, um, it's pretty special, mate. Absolutely. Well, righto, boys. Good luck for the Saturday versus the Lions. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's your reasons. No. <laughs> Well, hey, I see. Yeah, thanks. Get on the field and I'll give you some credit. Boys, thank you very much for your time, viewers. Get down to FPS Stadium on Saturday to watch the Highlanders versus the Lions. She's going to be a cracker. We'll see you there.